It's a bleak morning down at Conway, but we're going to start an experiment. I'm going to play five consecutive rounds of golf, nine holes that is. I'm going to play with the current bag that I've got, which is literally half a bag. That's where it's going to start. So we're going to identify is there an issue there? Am I missing clubs in the bag? I also want to see my timing and tempo is a big part of my game. Technically, my swing is not very good and I'm not prepared to spend the time and effort that's needed to correct those things now. But timing and tempo has really gone. And since lockdown, it's been not great my game. And I want to see by playing more golf, does it impact on my game? Will it improve? I want you to do is this. Tell me first of all in the comments box, how do you practice? What makes you better at golf? What makes you see improvements? And the second thing is, what is going to be the best score that I register for nine holes of golf gross this week playing down at Conway every single day? Two bunkers. Uh, obviously, the centre of those two is, uh, is where you want to be. That's obviously the middle of the fairway. We're going to be setting off at that left-hand bunker with a little bit of cut. Uh, a bit higher than I'd want it to be. We're slightly blowing into the breeze here. It's just picked up right hand side of the rough. Right off that left hand bunker again. Ah, kept it low, but that's not great. Thin and off the bottom. Chasing up there. Not too bad of a lie. Uh, bunker is not in a great position. It's got to go high. And to be fair, I got this quite nice and it sat down quicker than expected. Happy with that. Putter, here we go. Walk after it and. Loving it. Well, it's playing 170. Uh, I'm going to play 7 iron with downwind, so it's not going to need uh, all of my 7. But again, not got a full bag. Would choose an 8 iron if I was carrying it. And that's something that we may, or I may, live to regret. But anyway, 7 iron it is. Hold. Hold the line. And go. Yeah, it's okay. We're on the dance floor, front part. So come up short where I expect it to be. It's not a bad position to miss it, to be honest with you. Uh, all uphill, all the way. Give it a decent hoof. A little knee bend thought it had gone in. Think again, and but made the three. Happy with that. The joys of the British summertime and trying to film. Yeah, we're three holes in, and uh, it's a fairly heavy rain break at the moment. It's that rain that soaks you. You know the kind. Right, 4.15. Par four, bunkers all down that right hand side. So we're gonna have to stay tight to the left here if we can. Don't forget, only using the clubs that I've got in the bag today. So I'd normally, this is where I might reach for the big driver, but it's mini driver. That's bang on. It's cutting a little, it should be past that bunker, I think. Oh no, a bit ambitious, but yeah, spot on. First decent shot of the day, I would say, in terms of strike. 90 in on this, it's playing long, not the best in terms of distance there. I'm one with six iron anyway, this is that base and green. It's gonna need a hit. It's a great ball. Two of the best strikes of it this morning, so it might be warming up a bit. Yeah, that's right on the flag. Shot I've practiced a lot, there's a seven iron, uh, chip and run it all the way. Would be a putter perhaps if the ground wasn't uh, as wet as it was and that's come up perfect and uh, really again great fall strong breeze off this one tough par four uh, but of it really good shot solid great ball flight happy with that oh god it's out the screws and right on the flag don't let it have the legs get down no it didn't still into that wind once again, breeze is too strong for me, caught short, uh, had to throw it over the dip and on the right side of the hole, you see it coming all the while and believe me, that's an inch from going in. Right, so assessments of my round so far is, I have no idea, I am level par and uh, ball striking for the first two holes was atrocious, uh, got going on the last few holes but still left a lot of work and to get up and down, I think maybe on three occasions, uh, says a lot at the moment but timing is getting better. 487 par 5 at the two bunkers on the left with a bit of cut or just send it right down the right with a bit of cut that's atrocious 
awful tee shot this stuff is heavy you can barely see the ball uh it's a hoik as i like to call it and to be honest with you that's a decent shot out of there it's about 250 in part five that's a waste of wedge there to get out no mini driver off the deck Great ball, but it won't have enough. I think it's going to be in that bank on the right. Yeah. Like I said, into the bank, uh, sitting down a bit, and to be honest with you, it popped it up 60 degree wedge, and uh, happy with that. Seven iron again. Yeah, not the best that time. Just came out the toe. Uh, but uh, we give myself a chance. That was to save bogey. That's a double on the card. It's all from that tee shot. Another par five in this strange loop between the two bunks is where you want to go. Again, it, it isn't great today. I am struggling and just trying to make my way around. It's got down there. You'll see it come down right hand side towards that right bunker. It's sitting down a bit, but I'm taking mini driver. And again, got a decent ball flight, picked it up well. It surprises me so much, this club, how it does that. Wedge in, our 54 wedge actually gone high. Just tugged it a little. You'll see it come down left the picture. There it is. Well, it was 96 in and they got the yardage bang on. I forgot about this sneaky little bunker at the back though. Another yard further and uh, we were in trouble again. A good course design. Sneaky little bunker. Right, come on birdie. Let's get one back. The only club I'm feeling good with is the, uh, the wedge and the putter. Or clubs rather. That's got a chance as well. Oh, it hasn't broke. It hasn't broke. Good strike and uh, that was kind of a fairly comfortable par five in the end after a double it was nice to get that back if any of you are wondering why i'm doing this odd loop of nine it's because uh, i want to stay out members way they can go on and enjoy the golf without some idiot with a camera getting in the way and uh, it allows me to create a loop that means i finish near the clubhouse uh, so that's the reasoning and it's getting nice it's brightening up let's hope my mood brightens a bit it's tough scoring with the cat oh well, it's tough scoring uh, not easy at Conway at the moment, um, but it's also tough scoring when you switch that camera on. So uh, yeah, I'm a little bit more miserable than I normally am and that's saying something. So three to play, another par five coming up back into the wind. Uh, my microphone batteries had also packed in by now and my mood was starting to dip even lower than it normally is. Here we go. A decent ball decent ball flight slightly turning over down that uh, right hand side and it's going to be uh, in the left hand side rather and it's going to be in that uh, first quarter off slightly hanging lie uh, you can see the ball is quite a bit above my feet uh, just choked down a little bit and it really just trying to push it up the fairway and get into position which i did quite well to be fair that's a good spec to be coming in from slightly blind but uh, a wedge in uh, it was nine iron actually just over sort of 110 playing into the breeze and again it's sort of half a swing and control this one quite good putting off the fringe percentage play it wasn't a bad roll and uh, happy to make a five Tough par three, back into the breeze. Uh, I'm playing five iron. It's a it's a big five iron to be fair. Maybe just force it a little bit, turn it over a bit, and uh, that isn't going to be a great finish. You'll just see it coming down on the left of the pitch. And now, you know the irony is that's probably the best strike that I've hit all day in terms of an iron. But ironically, I bet it's finished in the worst position. Yeah, like I said, uh, wrong club and also turned over. Tried to hit it on the bank left hand side for it to kick in and just carried it a yard or two too far. Do you know what, it wasn't a bad effort, uh, could have been a lot better than that. But um, yeah, an easy enough roll up and uh, that was never going in but managed to step up. Make a bogey four which is what the tee shot deserved really. Another par five coming up and yeah, things going from bad to worse this was a sky drive would you believe it probably did a lot better than it should have done the only positive was it was straight played five iron once again just turning that ball just slightly over towards that left hand bunker um and yet yeah, i've no doubt it'll have trickled in it yep i was right 
That's probably one of the better shots I've played all day. Distance control was good. Not nice, a 90-yard bunker shot. And we got two for the par still. Uh, yeah, thought I had that one. That was tough. I never felt comfortable all day on that one. 